he was shunted out of the Gandhi home, a single mom with her baby. Those photographs are iconic for tell lack me, of a better tell word. Tell me about it. <laughs> there was some, um, I want to use the word media speculation and I'll use that phrase carefully. Either that Varun would reconcile with his cousins and be the Congress candidate from Amethi or that he could be the BJP candidate from Rai Bareilly. How do you look at, um, the word is used often in media, the evolution of Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi? I seriously don't think they've evolved. You have the opposition talking about caste and quotas. You have the BJP, your own party, talking about religion and Hindu Muslim. You have said that the Sultan Purpe, Sultan Purpe, ye mudde nahi hote. There's so many other pressing problems. Sultanpur is Indian Parliament's senior most member of parliament. She's an eight-time member of parliament, now looking for her ninth election here in Sultanpur. I'm talking, of course, about Ms. Merika Gandhi. We all heard her speech when the new parliament building was inaugurated. She had that place of honor by virtue of being the senior most parliamentarian. Thank you, Menika Ji. And I know how busy it is. I was listening to you trying to address the problems of the constituents. What struck me was that there are local issues in school, admission, in the house. Are these the main issues of the main issues? Are these the main issues? These are. How do you yeah, keep your focus on them? No, the point is people need help. There are many people who think that they have made a road, made a medical college, so that's what they do. But you know, the addressing of a problem because there is virtually no access hmm. to redress. Yeah. Everybody is busy and there are thousands and thousands of cases. So most people just wallow in misery hmm. because they don't know what to do. Hmm. So from the day I won the last election in Sultanpur, it was a very different place. Nobody had ever worked with an MP hmm. or an MLA for that matter. They just took the votes and, and did big things or not. Yeah. So we started this system of every day between fixed hours, 7.30 to 10. In the morning. In the morning. People would come and tell me their problem. And then I would access the local administration to deal with them. That is what has stood me in good stead. Because over 80,000 cases have been dealt with. And many of those people are here even as we are speaking to you. We are standing behind you. I would like to ask you, at a time when the campaign is so high-pitched, you have the opposition talking about caste and quotas. You have the BJP, your own party, talking about religion and Hindu-Muslim. You have said that in the Sultanpur, in the Sultanpur, there is no need for this. No. Is that a conscious decision? Of course it is. To keep religion and caste out? It is a conscious decision because there are so many other pressing problems. And the idea is to have a happy election. Mm. You know, we work very hard. I mean, I must have done six and a half hundred villages by now. But it's overall, it's happy. Nobody's abusing anybody. Nobody's saying anything. <coughs> and it's really about problems, people's problems. So, dharam ki jo rajneeti hoti hai ya jat ki hoti hai, how do you keep it out of the rhetoric here? Um, by not mentioning it. You don't mention caste mandir even in the Ayodhya, jo Ram, Ayodhya mm -hmm. is the constituency. I know, but we mention our own mandir, which is Dhopap, which I built and which is very beautiful. So I talk about that. And what is the example as the senior most parliamentarian that you want to set for people of any party by that, keeping religion and caste out of your speeches? No, I want to send the message down that I never stopped campaigning from the last election to this one. And I did it in a different way, by w winning people around, by solving their problems. Of course, big things, and lots and lots of big uh, things that have been done. 
roads and bijli and stuff for which i have to thank the government but i really did it by working every single day and if you do that at the end of the day you don't actually need to create issues unfortunately the uh, opposition here has put up two candidates on the basis of caste so they will take the votes that they take yeah but generally people are going to be voting on the work they got done the work that they the projection that they have the access anybody can meet them your Not doors are open all the time and people come and have breakfast with me dinner with me and just anybody a pradhan of a village whoever when i'm hungry then everybody's eating me it's the punjabi in me the langar syndrome that's nice it's now so, tell me this you have said in one of your speeches that you are not here for neeta giri you are here for mata giri you yeah. you are here as a mother explain that metaphor for protection really to make you happy mothers make households happy i'm here to make you feel more confident about yourself to sort out whatever problems that you got hanging about like yesterday somebody went on the mic i didn't even know who he was and he said i want to thank uh, mata ji <laughs> he said i had my land was taken away from me for 43 years mm. and he said i approached everybody and nobody listened and then she came and she did it in a day you know that makes me feel good we are here to serve it's a job yeah but speaking as a mother not just the proverbial mother but also the literal mother yeah. how uh, saddened disappointed were you when your son varun did not get a ticket so oh, i i uh, i can't say i was thrilled but you know every party doesn't just run on members of parliament yes it runs on every member so i'm sure varun will do a brilliant job as he, whether he is in parliament or not but does he remain in politics and with the bjp at the moment yes there was a perception that he'd been writing very vocally he is a poet he is a writer he is an author and he'd been writing a series of columns also tweets on social media on issues that we cared about he's always made the argument that these are people's issues but they were perceived to be critical of the government and that's why he didn't get a ticket is that your sense no that's not my sense why do you think he didn't get it? i have no idea i seriously don't do you feel bad for him i feel uh, yes i do but not i can't say i feel terribly upset because i know that he stand on his own feet it's a test there was some um, i want to use the word media speculation and i'll use that phrase carefully either that varun would reconcile with his cousins and be the congress candidate from amethi or that he could be the bjp candidate from raibareli two newspapers even published reports saying that he turned down the bjp proposal to be the candidate from raibareli can you speak to the truth of either of these media narratives no i can't because i'm completely out of it do you think that's true or false i have really no idea i really have no idea i know it sounds odd but i'm a, what is known as a tunnel vision person but don't you talk about it at home over food no, or no. you know no. coffee he's not here i'm here phones no seriously no if he were to do that if he were to ever switch sides how do you feel about it i don't think that's going to happen you know okay talk a little bit about your own journey you know i was before i came here just to refresh my memory i was reading about your extraordinary journey it's been a journey of struggle you were i don't know how many people of today's generation remember that you were not yet 25 years old when your husband died 23 varun, 23 how and how old was varun 3 months 3 months and you could not be even the candidate in amethi at that time because you were not 25 and the rules demanded that you be 25 you were shunted out of the gandhi home a single mom with her baby those photographs are iconic for tell lack me, of a better tell word tell me about it <laughs> how do you look back at that moment i don't i seriously don't there is no way that my heart would even bear the strain of looking back at the past you so block it out i just block it out Have you been bitter, angry, cynical? No, no, no. I have so much to do. Do I have time to do all that? I'm not self-focused at all, mm. at all. I think only one percent of me even remembers who I am. So there is so much else to do that I, I, I don't have time for. 
looking back at the past, recrimination, regret. You're not going to write a memoir of those years? No, never. never. You know, people don't even remember that you ran as an independent against Rajiv Gandhi in Amethi. That's right. What do you remember about that election? I don't. Nothing? You've just blocked out the past? <laughs> That's it. It's done. It's over. Talk a little bit about how you see the opposition. You spoke locally about two candidates against you. What about nationally? There's the India Alliance. We're in the neighborhood of Amethi and Raipareli. How do you look at, um, the word is used often in media, the evolution of Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi? Now, I wish they would evolve. You don't think they have? No. The Bharat Jodo Yatra? I don't think, you know, walking miles and miles evolves the brain. I seriously don't think they've evolved. They are, they need to be far more introspective. About? About, about where they want to go and where they want the party to go. Were you surprised when neither of them contested from a meeting? I was. What have you expected and what did you see in that decision not to contest? I have no idea. I didn't analyze it. I was as surprised as the rest of India. But you see no change in Mr. Gandhi after his two Bharat Jodo Yatras. Rahul no. Gandhi, I mean. not. No. Has it uh, hurt sometimes to be known in the media as the other Mrs. Gandhi? No. No. No, there is no other Mrs. Gandhi. I think I have a fair number of achievements of my own. Of course. What is passionate to you? We know you outside of politics as a rights activist, right? You run orphanages, you look after, you know, abandoned animals. Uh, you know, my, my own family has seen you do that work for so long. Uh, what is passion, politics or that other life? No, it isn't. It's a general attitude. I believe that my life um, only has meaning if it reduces some amount of suffering. Hmm. Seriously. And I don't see the difference between uh, a tree, a person, a flower, an animal. For me, I just see what can I do to help you. It kills me when a tree is cut because I can feel that thing. Or when grass is uprooted, you know, or when an animal. I think a lot about helplessness you know, and how helpless we all are in some form or the other. And you know, God or the universe or whatever has given me a certain amount of power my whole life. And I've used that always to reduce pain. What's the one word you'd use to describe yourself? I don't have to. Do you I think people know. misunderstand you? <laughs> no, I don't care. Let me ask you about one. I do what I, what I need to be done. There was one controversy when you were campaigning in an earlier election, uh, which was reported as you're telling Muslims of your constituency, he, you know, almost threatening them that, look, I do so much for you and aap hume vote nahi did. No, no, no. It was not like that. And I'm not that kind of person. I've, um, in fact, what I did say was that, you know, I don't choose, I don't do caste and I don't do religion. And the whole year I work for everyone. Even here, I think about 50% of the people who come are of their persuasion. And I said, it bothers me and it hurts me when you don't um, vote because of it, other things. And then I sort of think to myself, why are you doing this? Oh, that's what I meant. But maybe the answer is that the party and leaders, individual leaders of the party are associated with anti-Muslim rhetoric and maybe I know, that's but the, the point is they have to live with me. Mm -hmm. They have to deal with me. They come to me for help. So I keep telling them, look at me. What do mm -hmm. you think is distinctive about your politics? It's just really based on service. And what is the toughest thing about being a politician? I don't know. People's demands? No privacy? No. What have you... No. What have you who started as a 20 Every something. Single thing. How old were you when you first became member of parliament? You were 32. 32. Right? And you're 67 now, if I'm not yeah. wrong. In this long journey, what have you had to give up to be a politician? Whatever I gave up, I gave up voluntarily. I really can't play the victim card. I did what needed to be done to pursue what I wanted to be done.
Let me end by asking you how you see the campaign. Uh, on the one hand, there's a very assertive Abki Bar Char So Par. On the other hand, the India Alliance believes that Mr. Modi is an outgoing prime minister. That's what they claim. You had comments from Sam Petroda and so on on inheritance tax. You had the Mangal Sutra enter the campaign, which is, you know, yeah. unexpected. How do you look at all of these controversies? I don't. I really concentrate simply on Sotanpur. You know, very early on in my life, I learned that things I can't deal with and things that I cannot control, just leave them be. Change what you can change and just do the best that you can do. Is this the kind of calm advice that you're offering Varun who might not be as calm Absolutely. as Is he as calm as I offer it to everybody. Calm also comes with age. That is that. Thank you, ma'am. It's been a pleasure. I'm not going to keep you between you and your constituents you. and the campaign trail. Thank you Thank so you. much for talking to us. Namaskar and hello, everyone. Welcome to a ride through the heart and the soul of India. Because when election season comes, who won, 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 who Welcome to the Dhabas of Democracy, where every bite tells a story, where every conversation will spice up your day. Experience the masala, the flavor, the swad of this election with us as we take a lovely, a unique road trip from the south to the north of India, traveling thousands of kilometers to bring you the flavor of this election.